Yo, what's up people of the internet, this is Megasan Pika here, and I'm bringing you the latest news about what Nintendo dropped today on everybody that wants to see this, who's been waiting for the last few months, probably like a, I think over a year, not, whatever, as, it's been a long time, but Nintendo finally dropped the new system that the NX is, and it's the Nintendo Switch. Kind of like the name NX better, but I guess I'll get used to saying Switch sooner or later, and I'll... I bet everyone was just gonna kind of forget what the you know the NX, but what? this system is nice, okay? Nice. It's a nice tablet kind of hybrid system that everyone's been theorizing and get uh yet yeah, and stuff about. The system itself, it's is the handheld tablet screen, which has a separate controller, which is called the Joy-Con, which can which has two side controller things which could you know be detached from the Joy-Con and those two attachments can be attached to the screen of you know the screen little tablet part which is docked into a home docking system part I don't I'm guessing that's just like to charge that's just to charge the tablet you take those two controllers slide them on the tablet and then you could just use that and play that on the go Anywhere you go. In the trailer, they showed you can. There's a. There was a. There was a new Zelda. There was a new Zelda game. Uh, I forget what it was called, but I'm most likely probably going to get it. Again, hopefully by then I'll be able to uh, set up the channel and maybe get that game. I'll probably. If I don't have the game, well, of course I'm going probably going to be playing something else. But again, hopefully by then I'll have the setup ready and I'll be able to record games but anyways in the trailer they showed Zelda they showed 2k of all game a new Mario game it looked like and they showed Splatoon but it looked like it was like updated or it was like a special version for the switch they also did that with Mario Kart 8 if that was Mario Kart 8 it was like updated or a future like a future version maybe a exclusive for the switch those two games something special there they're probably not going to do that for just mario kart 8 and splatoon if those are just mario kart 8 and splatoon of course they're probably going to do something like that with smash brothers and maybe some other titles another game that was shown in the trailer is what i'm guessing was skyrim it looked like skyrim i think it was skyrim so we're getting games like that on the, uh, I'm going to say NX, the Switch. And we already revealed earlier this year that the 2017 Sonic game is going to be on there. The modern Sonic game. You know, the Join the Revolution. It's weird because it didn't show that the Sonic, that Sonic Mania was going to be on the Switch, but whatever. Well, at the time it was still NX, but whatever. In the trailer, it's kind of weird that they never, we never see any of anyone use the screen of the tablet as like, they never use it as a touch screen. We never seen anyone touch the screen. So hopefully there's still a touch screen functionality with the tablet part. The two side controllers can also be used as individual controllers. So you can have some friends over or like, like, like you know, ask your friend to come over. And you know you can give them one side of the controller. You can play with one. You guys will be playing Mario Kart 8, like which was shown in the trailer. Or if your friend has uh, the Switch, you know you can have four people play because two controllers, two controllers for each for each screen, and you know you have a four-way back. And plus, if it's Smash 4, well, only Smash 4. It's just, I don't think Brawl's going to be on here. There's also some uh, we see. I think I found this on Twitter. So, uh, it's a picture of partners for the Switch, and we know I noticed that uh, we got 505 Games, stuff like them, Sega, Square Enix, Atlas, Spike Chunsoft. So, might be seeing some dang and Rumpa on the Switch, but that'll be for future. Might, might not, maybe, maybe not, but you know, I like this and other things, but. This system, I'm going to get it. Maybe not day one, but it's nice and crisp. I also seen on Twitter that there might, uh, that 
probably is going to be different color variations for the NX. Maybe there are. I'm not sure they were fake or not. I just kind of scrolled past them and just didn't really mind it. Just saw color. Well, like, oh, okay. So I saw like different color variations of the Switch. I think I said NX. Well, whatever. Maybe some games are that were announced and stuff are probably going to now be announced to be on the Switch now. Let's like Sonic Mania. Um, Kingdom Hearts 3. And, uh, didn't, don't know. I heard some people say like Final Fantasy. I. The newest Final Fantasy, I think 15. I. With the graphics on that one, it, good luck. Probably some weird witchery wizardry that Nintendo could probably do but whatever I can see a lot of other companies probably seeing this trailer and freaking out we probably want to see someone copy off of this Sony or Microsoft probably going to do something similar to this because we see it in the past everyone copied Nintendo but that's another argument forgot to mention that the system is also cartridge based I don't think there's disc anymore we seen in the trailer that there was a cartridge that was put inside the system. The tablet, whatever. Is it going to be like the 3DS now where all the data from the cartridge is going to, um, all the data that you, that's in game is going to go to the cartridge and I'll be able to continue the games from the cartridge onto like another switch system. Because I've been wondering about the, the comp the data capacity, you know, the gigabytes on the Switch, if it's going to be like 32 gigs, that's kind of meh. But I think I did hear from somewhere that there's going to be an, an uh, SD card slot so you can just switch in and out like, I don't know, like a 64 bit gigabyte or way higher. Like if you're one of those people who have like a 500 gigabyte like SD card, if those exist then you know you have that or uh what was the number what was the gig how many gigabytes like 128 or 124 or something like that you can just put that in there and you you'll be good trailer also showed a pro controller for the switch which actually looked very similar to an xbox controller so you technically be having three controllers you have the two controllers that's on the system itself which could you can also count it as being one controller but hey whatever seeing that this system is going to be should be powerful uh the battery life better be good hopefully the battery is good motion controls touch screen two extra controls on the side which i think are also using their own batteries and then it has to process everything that's happening on itself that's I think it's, it's kind of straining, but hey, Nintendo has their way, so I don't think we have many specs. We'll see. I guess we'll find out more the closer the you know the release date comes. Also, notice in the trailer that the docking port that I guess that hooks up to the TV. I didn't see any wires. They were probably hidden or or like somewhere behind the system, but I didn't really see anything back there. Maybe I did, but I didn't see, really see, say anything. I might be wrong, but hey. Hey, I just kind of skimmed it. But right now, if this is going to be the new portable and home system, the Wii U is already basically dead. And I think that last Paper Mario game was kind of like the last encore of the system, basically. Right now, the 3DS with this, with the Switch being the new portable system, the 3DS, good system, good system. Okay, it was well, it had a good run, but I can see its grave being dug right now. The last game that's going to be good on it, the last game anybody's going to be really paying attention on the 3DS is po basically Pokemon Sun and Moon. Unless the 4th gen remakes, if they are making those, is going to be on the 3DS. Then I guess we'll be looking back at the 3DS. But if those remakes or whatever the next main Pokemon game is going to be on the Switch, 
But I guess some 3DS is going to be sitting in the dust until, you know, you just go back to play it at some point or whatever. I really don't think the Switch is compatible with uh, 3DS games, even though it's cartridge based. But, eh, again, we'll see. If I miss something, well, you guys can just tell me if you're there. <laughs> but that's pretty much it for what I can say right now, what I remember and know, and what was pretty much showed. And I'll see you all in the next video. See you then.